Welcome to my scientifically informed insider look at mental health topics. If you find this video to be interesting or helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, do personality disorders predict negative life events? Now, when we talk about personality disorders, of course, we know that there are a number of potential bad outcomes. They are conceptualized as extremes of personality traits, and this can lead to difficulties. There's been research specifically on this idea of the positive life event and the negative life event and what can predict these various types of events. So looking specifically at personality disorders, I used an article here from 2017 by Timoni and colleagues, and they looked at four personality disorders and then conceptualized them using the five-factor model of personality theory and then looked at negative life events and positive life events. So this is a fairly common way to understand personality disorders using the five-factor model, and we see this in a variety of articles. So before we get into personality disorders, it's important to understand that personality traits do have fairly good predictive power in terms of predicting negative life events. Studies have shown that their predictive power is as strong as socioeconomic status or cognitive ability, for example. We know that personality disorders are conceptualized as extreme levels of personality traits, so it makes sense that if personality traits could predict negative or positive life events, you could do the same thing with personality disorders. Now we know that personality disorders do have an association with negative life events, and they also have an association with having fewer positive life events. On the negative life event side, we see events like unemployment, arrests, incarceration, and poor relationships being predicted by personality disorders. Negative life events aren't simply inconvenient or considered a mildly poor outcome. They can have very severe consequences. And we see negative life events linked to substance use disorder and to suicide attempts. We know that with certain personality disorders, there are specific negative life events that seem to predict suicide attempts. For example, with narcissistic personality disorder, illness, injury, financial problems, and arguments with the spouse seem to predict suicide attempts. With antisocial personality disorder, death of a spouse does, and with borderline personality disorder, troubles in relationships seem to predict suicide attempts. As I indicated, this study used personality disorders, linked them to the five-factor model, and then the five-factor model to negative life events. But what do we know about non-clinical populations and the five-factor model? Well, we know that extroversion seems to be linked to positive life events in general including gaining new friends and finding employment. We know that conscientiousness is also linked to positive life events, and neuroticism is linked to negative life events. Openness to experience is a bit interesting in terms of its relationship to different life events because it's really related to both. It has positive life events like gaining new friends, but it also has negative life events like financial problems. So now looking at the results of this study, which of course would be clinical in nature as opposed to non-clinical, only four personality disorders were examined in the study. Schizotypal personality disorder from cluster A, borderline personality disorder from cluster B, and avoidant and obsessive compulsive personality disorders from cluster C. So examining just these four personality disorders, the most notable findings were with borderline personality disorder. With borderline personality disorder, both extroversion and openness to experience were associated with positive life experiences, and high neuroticism was associated with negative life experiences. With obsessive compulsive personality disorder, the only association that really stood out was this relationship between extroversion and positive life experiences. With avoidant personality disorder, again, it was extroversion and openness to experience that was associated with positive life experiences, like we saw with borderline personality disorder. And with schizotypal personality disorder, only openness to experience really stood out as being associated with positive life experiences. So what we see here specifically with avoidant and schizotypal is a willingness to socialize may improve outcomes for those particular personality disorders. So these were interesting results, although of course restricted to just these four personality disorders. It would be interesting to see this type of study with all 10 personality disorders, but this does give us more evidence that promotes a better understanding of factors that could lead to difficulties for individuals with personality disorders. I hope you found this description of personality disorders and how they're related to positive and negative life experiences to be interesting. Thanks for watching.